17 inch boards. We have to take the tractor off of the sawmill, roll the log back, and push it back on with the tractor because I'm sorry. That's way heavier than I care to even try to move by hand anymore. I'm just old. Yep, I'm just old. I'm not afraid to admit it either. Always a better way. Tim, I think is his name from Surviving Maine, told me that. On several of his videos, there's always a better way. We're gonna saw this down as close as we can. I gotta roll it again, so. I'll see if I can do it by hand, otherwise, gotta shut off, take the tractor around, push it, reset up. Everybody says saw milling is for sissies. And one of these bell saws is for sissies. You come do this and flip this monster. It's kind of big. Oh, another thing I learned from John Clark at Frickin' G. You can never have enough tape measures. I think I got nine of them out here now. You gotta have lots of tape measures. Seventeen and three quarters of an inch across. Yep, that's a big boy.
She ain't liking that at all. She is not. Wish you ate your Wheaties for breakfast. Oh my god. I should have rolled this off, turned it into firewood. Oh. Look how pretty that is. Yep, you go to Lowe's and buy boards just like this. What do I do? Yep, oh, sure. I heard him hit. Y'all probably heard it hit too. Wonderful. 
Wonderful. Let's look at the teeth real quick. Let's see what the damage is on these ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, right there. I got to disconnect the PTO to really look at them. They're not looking bad. I'm going to check this. It's getting a little warm down here. It ain't bad. I think it's rubbing. I'm going to have to check the up and down on it. I'll check the up and down on the arbor and I'll check the lead. Guess what? We're back to square one again. Let's reset everything and do it all again because we like it. Yeah. Let's retire and become sawmillers. That's what I was told. Let's just make some money sawing lumber and selling it. It's going to be great, honey. Yeah. Busier than a one legged stripper on nickel night. No stress from driving, but yep, I got things to work on now. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a piece of lead copper stuck right through the blade right there. That's okay, you can work on that stuff while I go to bed. That's right. Somebody works the midnight shift at the hospital, so therefore, she's been up since uh, 4 o'clock yesterday. It's great. 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 Alright, folks. I hope you all have a good day. All the cables and chains are out because I didn't have the carriage... Uh, tension on the cable right start with because we had to put a new cable on because somebody oh just loosen up your cables and or loosen up your sheaves and let them float it'll be great that way when it pulls it down the track you know it'll stay straight so you know what i did i loosened up the cable sheaves i don't know what that is but it's a centipede. is it let me show you it's a dead one now icky Somebody said, yeah, go ahead and loosen up them sheaves. That way that, 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 that sheep can float sideways as it's going down the track. You can pull your carriage straighter. So you know what I did? I loosened them up and let them float. Worked good for about, mm, no, it didn't work good ever. The cable got bunched up into the transmission and ruined. Brand new cable, less than two years old. Had to replace all the cable on it last week. Yep. So I went back to the book and see what the book said to do, and I followed exactly what the book said. And I learned my lesson. Unless you own one, don't take advice from them. Listen to the guys that have been there with the timber kings and the bell saws and stuff. The guys with the fricks and all that, the digger mills. Yep. Yep. So I hope you all have a good day. Beautiful. A little windy, a little chilly. I'm going to have my coffee, dig some bullets out, debate life's meaning. And then I'm going to do this all again because I like it. I love it. Where else are you going to mill 1x17s at? 1x15s or whatever. One solid piece. All for sale. I can sell them right now. I don't care. I know not, as you can tell. Might be some bullets when we get down in here a little further. I'm going to roll it one more time and get the bark off of it and turn it into a solid pin. And then it'll be good to go to make 1x6s. Hope you all have a good day. Peace, love, harmony, whatever. Thanks for stopping by. Keep making sawdust. And remember, if it ain't done twice the hard way, it ain't done here at our mill. See ya.